as you go on this journey, you are going to face so many horrifying things. Someone will say no to you. Someone will reject you. But the truth is we think that being rejected is going to feel worse than just sitting here. It's important for me to remind everyone that like so many days that I get up, I have that same feeling. I wake up, I'm like, this is hard. I don't want to be rejected. I'm worried. This is stressful, whatever. And then I just go to work. The difference is I don't listen to it. Don't make all that negativity that's happening mean anything. Your brain literally reads this as dangerous. It doesn't understand what you're trying to do. It's trying to keep you alive. This is the motivational triad for us as we have evolved as human beings from living in caves to living in the modern world. What used to keep us alive, what used to perpetuate our survival has now become a huge issue. We're gonna have to deal with a lot of rejection. Our brain sees this as danger. It sees this as something that could threaten our very survival. You know, we need to stay in groups. We need to be connected. We need to make sure everybody likes us so we can stay in the herd, right, and stay alive. Here's what most people do. Most people get into a situation where they have all of the negative emotion come up and they make that mean that they're doing something wrong, that there's something wrong with them and that they shouldn't proceed. And what I want to offer you is that's when the going is good. That means that you have taken a step towards creating something that will evolve you and your brain is freaking out. Your brain wants you to stay the same. It wants you to stay safe. Quitting when you are feeling a lot of negative emotion is very, very common. We make the reason why we're quitting very sophisticated, but really it's always just fear. We'll tell ourselves it's taking up too much time. It's taken away from my family. And we'll make it sound like my interest is in a different direction. But really what it is, is I'm freaked out. I don't want to fail. I'm afraid of what my own brain will do to me if I decide that I'm a failure. And so I'm just going to quit ahead of time. What I want to teach you is to do the exact opposite. I want you to fail and compensate for failing before you even start. I want you to anticipate what that failure may or may not be, may or may not look like. So then when it happens, when you bump up against this thing that you're anticipating have happening, you have a plan for it. The bigger your dream, the bigger failure plan you're going to have to have. Because as soon as you set that dream, your brain is going to seize on you. That is its job. I want you to imagine that we didn't have this built-in mechanism. We didn't have this built-in fear. We didn't have this built-in freak out that everybody in the world would just have a dream, have a vision, and then they would just execute it and they wouldn't give up until they achieved it. I want you to imagine how different the world would be, right? The world is the way it is because we have this brain that goes on defense and causes us to quit whenever it perceives that there's any kind of failure. So the way that you can be exceptional is you can be the person who knows that their brain is gonna seize, knows that they're, you're gonna get to a place where you're gonna freak out and you keep on going because of your no matter what reason. But you're just gonna keep moving towards it instead of moving away from it. You have to move towards that discomfort and generate the energy that'll help you overcome all the doubt and the fear so you can then get to the place where somebody might say yes. If you don't ask anyone, there's no chance of anyone ever saying yes because you have to know that you have your own back. Whether you succeed or fail, you will give yourself credit for the energy and the effort. And you're worth it, right? It's worth it for the chance. It's like, I'm going to go all in. I may not win, but I'm at least going to give myself the chance.